Israel's space defense jump is shocking. Its new systems are advancing so quickly that France can't match the pace. The real reason behind this sudden lead is surprisingly different from what most people think. Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're exploring how, how Israel's space defense technology is moving ahead while France is gradually falling behind. This isn't about competition on the ground, it's about how each country builds, tests, and deploys systems that operate far above the Earth. Israel has focused on compact, fast, integrated, intelligence-driven designs that link satellites, sensors, and real-time analytics. By keeping systems lightweight and update ready, Israel has been able to roll out improvements at a rapid pace. France, meanwhile, still relies on larger, slower evolving designs that take more time to modernize. Israel's advantage also comes from the way its private and government sectors work together. Small companies produce quick innovations and the state integrates them directly into long-term programs. France has excellent engineers and advanced capabilities, but its systems move through longer approval cycles. That difference alone changes how quickly updates reach orbit. As we move through this breakdown, you'll see how design philosophy, testing speed, and data-driven strategy create a growing gap. This is not about conflict, it's about technology, efficiency, and how two highly capable nations move at very different speeds in the space defense world. Israel's space defense edge begins with how it designs satellite networks. Instead of creating a few large satellites, Israel focuses on fleets of smaller units that update faster, cost less, and can be replaced quickly. These satellites communicate with ground systems instantly, allowing operators to receive image data or tracking information in short cycles. France, on the other hand, continues to rely on larger strategic satellites that are impressive but slower to modernize. Israel's smaller platforms allow more frequent launches and continuous testing. When a new sensor, camera, or communication module becomes available, Israel can integrate it almost immediately. This design method also creates resilience because a large number of small satellites is harder to interrupt compared to a few big ones. France's approach still offers high quality imaging and strong performance, but the update gap widens each year. The key point is pace. Israel prioritizes flexibility and modular design, while France emphasizes long-term stability. Both strategies have value, but the modern space environment changes so fast that the flexible side gains a real advantage. Israel's ability to rotate new satellites into orbit quickly has become one of the strongest factors pushing it ahead. Another major difference is data processing. Israel invests heavily in AI, enhanced systems that can filter, analyze, and deliver information in near real time. This makes its space-based defense network incredibly responsive. For example, if a satellite captures an unusual activity pattern, algorithms automatically process the data and send alerts without waiting for manual review. France uses advanced software too, but its change cycle is slower because new tools must be standardized across larger, more complex infrastructures. Israel's smaller platforms allow faster updates, meaning analytics improve month by month instead of year by year. This rapid evolution creates a serious advantage in decision making and awareness. Israel also links its satellite network with ground-based sensors airborne units, and communication hubs to create a seamless flow of data across multiple systems. France maintains strong networks, but Israel's interconnected structure gives it higher responsiveness and adaptability. The difference isn't about capability, it's about speed. Faster data means clearer insights, quicker decisions, and smoother coordination. By allowing AI to take on more of the workload, Israel shortens response cycles and increases precision in every part of its space defense strategy. Israel's private technology sector plays a huge role in its rapid advancements. Dozens of small companies produce sensors, micro, satellite parts, 
tracking software and communication systems. These companies operate with fast development cycles and close contact with national programs. When Israel needs a new feature, these teams are able to build prototypes quickly and deliver working models in short time periods. France also has a strong aerospace industry, but the structure is larger, slower, and more divided between corporate and national decision makers. Israel's model focuses on speed and integration. Its tech companies also work together, share information, and build components that are designed to connect easily with existing platforms. This cooperation saves years of development time. By contrast, France has excellent engineering capacity, but faces longer approval chains. Israel's startup culture pushes experimentation, faster testing, and continuous upgrades. This environment creates a flow of new modules, cameras, processors, and antennas that can be added to satellites or ground stations without redesigning entire systems. Innovation becomes routine, not occasional. Israel's ability to expand its space capabilities, this quickly comes directly from the agility of its private sector. Testing speed is another crucial factor. Israel conducts smaller, more frequent tests that focus on validating specific features rather than waiting to test entire systems at once. This makes it possible to verify improvements step by step and update platforms without long delays. Even small tweaks to imaging algorithms, communication links, or onboard processors can be tested and rolled out quickly. France follows a more traditional model where systems go through a larger full stage testing process. While this ensures high reliability, it reduces the frequency of updates. Israel's iterative testing means progress never pauses. Every month brings measurable improvements. Israel also uses simulation environments that mirror real orbital conditions, allowing engineers to test software changes virtually before committing to hardware updates. This cuts down on cost and time and helps engineers catch potential issues early. France uses simulations as well, but not at the same frequency or scale. The difference in testing philosophy creates a long-term advantage for Israel. Continuous small improvements add up, and over a few years, the cumulative effect becomes significant. This is how Israel maintains momentum and steadily widens its lead. Interoperability is one of Israel's strongest advantages. All space-based systems connect smoothly with its air, ground, and maritime networks. Information from satellites doesn't stay separate, it flows through a combined grid that updates in real time. This integrated structure allows different parts of Israel's security network to support each other efficiently. France also has strong systems, but its networks are more segmented. Israel's design philosophy centers on seamless connectivity, meaning every sensor, camera, and satellite adds to the same unified picture. This avoids delays and reduces the risk of blind spots. The more systems share data, the more effective the entire network becomes. Israel has also invested heavily in cloud-based platforms that allow rapid distribution of processed information. This means teams across the country receive updates at the same time, creating synchronized awareness. France's networks are capable but rely more heavily on older communication structures. Israel's modern connected ecosystem gives it an edge that continues to grow. Integration is one of the primary reasons Israel stays ahead of many larger nations despite having fewer resources. It's not just about building hardware, it's about ensuring everything works together smoothly. One factor that surprises many observers is how Israel handles upgrades. Instead of replacing entire systems, Israel builds platforms that can be updated in layers. A satellite might keep its main frame, but receive new cameras, processors, or antennas over time. This approach dramatically reduces cost while increasing the speed of modernization. France tends to replace larger systems in more complete cycles which takes longer and requires greater investment. 
Israel's modular approach allows updates without waiting for a full redesign. This is especially important when new technology becomes available quickly. Israel can integrate new components into orbital platforms faster than France can prepare full cycle replacements. This method also reduces downtime because systems stay active while only specific parts are upgraded. Israel's engineers design every part with upgrade paths in mind, ensuring long-term adaptability. This strategy means Israel is constantly improving without pausing operations. France's approach is reliable but slower. Israel's upgrade first philosophy is one of the leading reasons its space defense network evolves faster and stays ahead. Funding strategy plays a major role in the difference between Israel and France. Israel directs funding towards smaller, faster projects that deliver measurable results quickly instead of waiting for large multi-year programs to complete Israel invests in continuous cycles of innovation. France invests heavily too, but its funding flows through longer and more structured processes. Israel's approach focuses on efficiency and rapid return on investment. By breaking projects into smaller parts, Israel ensures that each piece produces value early. This also allows quick cancellation or redirection if a project stops being effective, France follows a more traditional model, placing large budgets into long-term plans that take years to complete. Both systems have strengths, but Israel's faster funding cycles support quick evolution of space technologies. It also encourages competition among private companies, which pushes performance upward. Israel's model ensures that promising ideas receive support rapidly often long before other countries identify the same opportunities. This financial strategy gives Israel an acceleration effect that keeps its space defense systems ahead, even when compared to larger national budgets. Another important factor is the use of automation. Israel integrates automated monitoring, automated satellite health checks, and automated data filtering across nearly all of its systems. This reduces workload and speeds up analysis. France uses automation as well, but in more limited areas. Israel's systems use automated routines to scan for anomalies, optimize communications, and generate alerts when patterns shift. This allows operators to focus on decision-making rather than manual processing. Automation also reduces the chance of human oversight and improves the consistency of results. As Israel expands its satellite fleet, automation becomes even more important. Without it, maintaining a large constellation would require far more staff and more manual monitoring. France's satellite architecture is not as heavily automated, which slows down certain processes. By pushing automation further, Israel increases efficiency and reduces operational delays. This approach allows for rapid scaling and smoother coordination across its entire space network. Automation isn't just a feature for Israel, it's central to its strategy. When you combine design philosophy, testing speed, automation, data integration, private sector innovation, and rapid funding cycles, the picture becomes clear Israel's space defense system moves forward faster because it is built for speed, flexibility, and constant evolution. France remains strong, capable, and technologically advanced, but its larger structure slows down modernization. Israel's strength comes from its ability to update frequently, test continuously, and integrate new tools without waiting for full system replacements. This creates a growing gap that becomes more visible each year. The goal here is not to compare nations competitively, but to explain the systems behind their progress. Israel's approach offers a model of efficiency that shows how smaller nations can remain leaders in high tech fields. France continues to develop excellent space capabilities, but Israel's fast, Moving strategy places it ahead in today's rapidly evolving environment. Understanding these differences helps explain why Israel's space defense technology is advancing at such a high pace and why observers around the world continue to watch its progress closely. If you found this breakdown helpful, 
make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn on notifications so you never miss new updates. Thanks for watching.